Hi everyone, let's continue heterosodacicity. How we can calculate heterosodacicity using E views and what could be the removal of this heterosodacicity. So I am taking the same data set that I have used in multicollinearity. And uh, in this data set, first of all, we are going to create estimate our equation. And in this equation, we will take all the variables. This is my independent dependent variable. And further is the constant. And uh, that would be leading to the independent variables. And uh, next one is inflation. And after inflation, we would have exchange rate. And uh, now we will run this equation. Now you can see right, these are my results. This was my file. I have created estimated through quick. I have estimated my equation. And now this is the equation and these are my results. Probability value you can see, right? All these probability values are here. This is the R square and adjusted R square. And now I will go to view after that residual diagnostics and I would select heterosodasticity. After heterosodasticity selection, you can see Bruce Pagan got free test i would click okay now these are my results so i can say all these values are above 0 0.05 so we can say there is no problem of heterostaticity because null hypothesis we have created there is no heterostaticity but alternate hypothesis that says there is heterostaticity a problem of hydrostaticity is existing. If p value that would be greater than 0 0.05, so we are failed to reject null hypothesis. But if p value it is less than 0 0.05, then we would say there is the problem of hydrostaticity means alternate hypothesis is accepted. So in this case, we can see all the values are 0 .0, above 0 0.05. So we can say there is no issue of hypersodasticity. Next, we come to the, if suppose these values are below 0 0.05, so how we can resolve this problem? How we can create, how we can create another estimation and through this, what are the methods we can resolve this hypersodasticity problem? I have already shared all these methods in my previous video. And now I just want to explain you how you can resolve this. So first of all, what we have to do, we will transform our data. What we will do, simply we will go there and I'm just closing this equation, right? Again, we will open. Yes. And uh, now again, I am just creating an equation. And here is, now we will take all the log values. So simply I am going to take log values. First of all, let me select all the variables, GDP. Then FDI. Further, I am going to take inflation. And after inflation, we will take exchange rate. And now, what I'm doing, I'm just taking their log values. So simply, I'm putting up here log and open parenthesis, closed. No, no. I think after GDP. Yeah. But there is, again, we will take log. And same thing. Open bracket, close bracket, and again I'm going to take log, give space over here, and I will create log of inflation, and further we will close this bracket, and again log value, 
open bracket and close bracket and I would press enter. Now you can see all these values are residual diagnostic and heterostasticity and same test we are going to run Grish Pagan Godfrey press OK. Now you can see all the values. 0 0.84, 0 0.81, 0 0.85. That means this model, there is no heterostasticity issue. This is the one method how you can resolve heterostasticity. Another method. Now, what we have to do, simply I'm just pressing. Now, again, what we will do, again, we are going to create a equation. By again repeating this method because that would be there could be more clarity. GDP, then C, and uh, further we will take FDI and we will take inflation and uh, further is exchange rate. And let me run this equation. And these are the values. And now what we will do simply we will go to view. And now you can see there is residual diagnostics, heterosidasticity, you have seen. And I have already shown you number of tests through white test also you can resolve this problem. But that we will discuss later. But before this, what we will do, simply you can see we will go to option and option you will select hack test and you will press ok and now these all results are there is no heterostasticity problem is existing hack standard errors and covariance these are already resolved this heterostasticity issue so I hope all these two methods you are going to apply and white test we will discuss in the next video. So I hope this video would be helpful to you. Thank you and stay tuned. Keep watching.